Today we're going to run you through some basic stances. Grab some tape and make a tic-tac-toe pattern on your floor, the size of your shoulders, so you can follow along. So we're going to start out with Misubidachi. To start with Misubidachi is, of course, this is the stand she always bowed into. Fun name for it is V stands. It helps you to remember the placement of the feet. So your heels are together, your feet come out roughly 45 degrees to give you a nice V in the middle. Slight bend of the knees, don't lock your knees on the stands. We're going to move to Fudadachi. With Fudadachi, you want your feet shoulder width, heels and ball on the same line. Knees slightly bent, relaxed at the shoulders. Now we're going to move to Samshindachi. For Samshindachi, you want the ball of the foot on the back foot lined up with the heel of the front foot. Gripping with the toes. Slight bend in the knees, but not too much. You don't want to pinch in too hard. Gripping with the sides, pulling in. Now we're going to move to Kibidachi. For Kibidachi, you want to have your heels and your toes on the same line. Feet perfectly forward. Knees bent, sinking deep. Weight perfectly centered, flexing your knees outward. Now we're going to move to Zenkutsudachi. For Zenkutsudachi, you want your feet shoulder width to two to two and a half shoulder widths long. Leaning forward, 70% of your weight is pressed on your forward leg. Straight at this part of the leg. Do not bend the knee in or out, as that will cause knee pain over time. Don't overextend forward past your toe. Again, that will cause knee pain over time. Back leg is locked out, nice and tight there. Back foot, 45 degree angle, tight in your glute on the side where the leg is back. Now we're going to move to Hengetsu Dachi. Forward foot will shift in. You'll pull a little bit of your weight back. This one you've got to be careful not to press too hard forward is again, that will cause knee pain. Slight bend in the back leg. Back foot is still at a 45 degree angle. Nice job. Now we're going to move to Shikadachi. Very nice. Again, in this stance, you're going to move where everything's perfectly centered. Front foot is facing, facing south. Back foot is facing east. So you're going different directions. Knees again are bowed out much like Kiba. This one, from an incorrect angle, can actually look much like Kiba. Now we're going to move to Dai Kokutsu. Heels are on the same line. You want to make an L. Foot is flat. Pressing the weight backwards. So you have 70% of your weight on the back leg. Weighting is exact opposite of Zenkutsudachi. Very nice. Move to Kokutsudachi. As you move to Kokutsu, try to maintain the same height. This requires a little bit of leg strength. All the weight shifts onto the back leg. No weight on the front. Roughly a shoulder width and a half in length. Heels still stay on that same line in a nice L. And now we're going to move into Miko. Draw the foot straight back. You want to be close enough when you draw that foot back that if you were to drop it, it would almost be touching, not quite, about an inch is what you're looking for. Maintain the same weight. You keep 100% of your weight still on that back leg. Keys on Kokutsu, Dai Kokutsu, Miko, 
is having good ankle flexibility and knee strength. The more flexible you are in your ankles, the deeper you can actually get into your coconut zone. Now from this stance, we're going to move to a Kekadachi. Nice work. Shift the front leg behind the back leg. You're going to be in roughly a T position between this foot and the ball of the back foot. Weighting is roughly equal. So for Nico, you want to shift your foot back majority of the weight on the front, but you're stabilizing well with the back foot. Now we're going to move to crane stance. Nice work. Of course, all the weight on the back leg. The knees pointing the same direction. Foot straight. Now we're going to move back to Fudo. Back to ready stance. Or always stance. Nice work. And that's your karate stances. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.